Hi and welcome back to Laran Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Larand and yes, it's motion day again, it's week 75 and as always everyone here is waiting and while we are waiting, let's go and take a closer look at the community. And here we have it, the Wandering Merchant has arrived in Port Jackson week 75. Alright, let's see, any reactions? We have a oof, that sound <laughs> doesn't sound too promising. No baits, uh, what? Another one says not bad. Uh, Alright, so let's go check it out. And yes, there is no baits actually, that's weird. But we have the lightning boat with a damage of 850 and a specialty with a lightning strike. That lightning strike does extra 425 damage to nearby creatures. And we have the log boat, that was a while ago, with a maximum health of 350 and a top speed of 65. And then we have a backpack, the shark fin backpack with a backpack space of 200. Alright. And here we have the log boat with a price of 125 charge. It has a maximum health of 350 and a top speed of 65. We're gonna go into the customization. First of all, we have the light. Since you can customize the light, it means that it has colored light. So depending on what you choose here, that color will emit light on the surface of the water and against, of, of course, other objects. We have the leaves, which is pretty obvious what that is. The frame is basically the frame surrounding this light source. This is great. Primary is the main part of the actual log. Uh, and as you can see, it also covers this branch with the leaves, which is great. Secondary in the preview doesn't seem to be working. I'm not sure if it's affecting the actual model itself <laughs> in the water, but we're gonna find out. But basically, it's the inside of the log with the grain. And of course, as usual, we have the horn that you can also customize. We're gonna run and check how this one behaves in the water. So we're gonna spawn it. And it seems like the inside of the log isn't working. So that's... Uh, hmm. Something has changed, uh, but we're gonna still test it though, so it's gonna look a little bit different than I'm used to. Uh, we can test the light, as you can see, and we didn't actually pick a color now, but it's pretty good light actually, and uh, I like that a lot, because sometimes I think the light is a little bit too dim. Uh, the thing is that even though this boat isn't that fast, it still feels kind of fast because I think it's because of many different reasons. First of all, it's pretty small as a boat that increases the feel of that speed. And uh, then you sit pretty close to the water. It's like a go-kart feeling, which is kind of cool, but it doesn't steer that sharp. Uh, so we're going to, of course, test it out. How long it takes to make a turn, a full 360 turn. Uh, so we're gonna do like we do on boats. We're gonna go up here and position ourselves and make a full 360 turn and see how long it takes. And here we are. We're gonna make a full 360 turn. So when the arrow points straight up north, we're gonna start the clock and we're gonna stop it once this arrow has made a full 360 degree turn here on the map. And 
and as you can see that took a while so <laughs> that's uh, also one of the downsides I think with this boat is that it is very slow to make this 360 turn but uh, still cool item for the collection and very unique in its design so yes there you have it that's the log boat and here is the shark fin backpack. It comes in at a price of 40 shards, it has the backpack space of 200, it looks like this, we're gonna go into the free camera, it's a little bit dark, the entire model is actually very dark, but it has some small details on it, so that's cool. However, nothing really that special, I must say, because it has the same size as a delivery box, which costs 600,000 coins. But uh, it's of course the model itself that is uh, maybe a little bit better than a delivery box, so that's nice. And I don't really expect any surprises when it comes to neon colors or if something emits any light, because, well... Uh, Pretty pointless to test it out here in the dark, so clearly nothing that <laughs> emits any light or glows. So yes, there you have it, that's the shark fin backpack. And here is the lightning bolt. It comes in at a price of 150 charge, it has a spear damage of 850. On top of that it has an area damage, an AOE damage of 425. It divides that damage among all the surrounding nearby targets. However, that damage will be divided among those targets and it's going to be up to 425, so it can be less. But also good to know is that if you hurt something with that AOE damage, you will not receive experience from that damage. But yes, it looks like this. We're going to go into the free camera. So it's a very nice and cool looking model, definitely. Lots of special effects, as you can see. We're gonna throw it into the air to see what it looks like. Surprisingly, not a really good trail. It has a trail, but it's not really that visible. However, the spear itself is clearly visible. And as you might have heard already, it makes a special sound when you throw the spear. We're gonna throw it into a tree. Looks like that. So it's the same sound when you throw the spear, so it's no special sound when you hit the target. We're gonna go over into the dark and see if something emits any light. And it looks like this. We have, of course, the spear itself that's clearly visible, but nothing that emits any light because you cannot see me here in the dark. And we're also gonna check the special effect. It has actually a special sound when you hit the target. So we're gonna go and find ourselves a sea creature. In this case, it's gonna be a shark. So this sound, this thundering sound, is something that you will hear across the entire server when you are hunting, or if someone else is hunting. Looks like that is a really cool effect, I must say. <laughs> one of the best ones actually when hunting. We can do one more, just to show you one more time. We're gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see it more clearly. Yes, so it's really, really cool. I love this special effect. It's simply, it's just amazing. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. That's the lightning bolt. And then it's of course time for the conclusions for the Wandering Merchant week 75. And I think it's pretty easy this time because... After all, the log boat doesn't have any specialties. It's not really fast. It's kind of fun to use though. So that's the big plus. But it doesn't give any obvious benefits or anything like that regarding hunting or fishing. So that's the big downside of that log boat. The shark fin backpack is, uh, I think it's pretty small. Even though it's very cheap, I still think that it doesn't really match and stand against the competition with the lightning bolt. The lightning bolt is gonna be my choice for this week. Spear damage 850. You can have a lot of fun, especially here in Ocean 1 with this spear. Price 150 charge. It could be, of course, a little bit much uh, since it does require a little bit of dedication to actually get it. But it's still very fun spear. It's efficient. It takes the most things here in Ocean 1 fairly easy, I would say. And... Uh, the special sound effect when you hit your target is also awesome. I love it a lot. So yes, there you have it. Those were the items from the Wandering Merchant Week 75. Alright, so let's go back again. Well, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.